Hi explorers, I'm Atom. Join me as we dive into the rich history and science of three of California's fascinating lakes. Owens Lake, Mano Lake, and Convict Lake. From trade routes and feats of human engineering to lessons in conservation, these lakes offer a treasure trove of stories and scientific wonder. Plus, I've got some interactive quizzes to keep you on your toes. So let's get started. First, we travel to Owens Lake, altitude of about 3,560 feet, which is 1,085 meters above sea level. Owens Lake is located in California's Eastern Sierra region in Inyo County, near the town of Lone Pine. Driving distance about 220 miles north of Los Angeles and about 400 miles southeast of San Jose. Owens Lake was once part of a vast lake and river system near the California and Nevada northeastern border during the Pleistocene epoch, often called the Ice Age, which is 2.6 million to 12,000 years ago. This lake, originally named Patsiata by the Paiute Indians, was renamed by the explorer John Fremont in 1845 in honor of another explorer, Richard Owens, who apparently never visited the Owens Valley. Owens Lake was once a key transit point for silver from the Cerro Gordo Mines, also in Inyo County during California's Silver Rush in the 1860s. In 1913, the completion of the 230-mile Los Angeles Aqueduct diverted the Owens River, which is Owens Lake's primary water source, to meet Los Angeles' growing demand, transforming the lake into a dry bed by the 1920s. This exposed sediment included mining waste, turning the lake bed into a major source of toxic mineral dust. Dust storms from Owens Lake transported harmful particles, including arsenic and cadmium, significantly degrading air quality in the Owens Valley. This region has been identified as one of the largest sources of particulate matter, PM10 pollution in the United States, leading to severe respiratory health problems for local residents. After years of legal battles, Los Angeles invested a staggering $2.5 billion to combat the dust problem, implementing solutions like gravel covers, shallow water flooding, and vegetation projects. These efforts paid off, reducing dust emissions by an astonishing 99.4%. It seemed like a victory, but nature was not done with Owens Lake yet. The winter of 2024 saw historic snowfall. Water surged back into Owens Lake for the first time in decades, bringing hope and complications. In March 2024, floodwaters breached the aqueduct, redirecting about 7,000 acre feet of water onto the lake bed. In the months following March 2024, additional inflows significantly raised the water levels in Owens Lake. This unexpected deluge transformed the Owens Valley into a verdant landscape, but the beauty masked significant challenges. Salty waters damaged the carefully planted vegetation meant to control dust. Sediment-filled flows of water strained the aqueduct's capacity. The Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, which is LADWP, spent between 20 to 40 million dollars in 2024 alone to address these issues. Berms 
which are barriers to protect areas from flooding were raised spreading grounds were prepared and ground water systems were fortified while the immediate risk of dust storms was mitigated by the moisture the long term picture remains unclear as the water recedes the dry lake bed could once again become a significant source of toxic dust here is a fun fact about avans lake though its striking red coloration seen in some images is caused by halophilic or salt loving bacteria halobacterium thrives in extremely salty concentrations enduring environments that most organisms cannot tolerate these microbes can persist for millions of years encased in salt deposits where the harsh conditions limit competition they produce pigments rich in carotenoids the same class of compounds responsible for the red coloration in bell peppers and tomatoes Avans Lake is more than just a cautionary tale it is a testament to the complexities of managing water in California's ever changing climate from silver booms to environmental busts from drought to floods this lake reminds us of the need for sustainable practices and adaptability quest time what year did avans lake begin losing water due to the los angeles aqueduct 1860 1905 1913 or 1920 1913 Arsenic is present in the dust from Avans Lake true or false true Why is silver represented by the symbol AG on the periodic table Research and comment below Next we travel to Mano Lake just 125 miles north of Avans Lake Mano Lake is estimated to be over 760,000 years old. It is situated at an altitude of about 6,380 feet, which is 1,945 meters above sea level. Mano Lake is in California's eastern Sierra region in Mano County, near the town of Lee Wining. Its water chemistry is kind of unusual with a pH of around 9.8 to 10 and salinity levels about 2.5 times higher than the ocean. Mano Lake is both alkaline and hypersaline. This extreme environment supports unique life forms such as alkali phyllic or alkali loving microorganisms that thrive in its alkaline waters. Additionally, it's home to massive populations of brine shrimp and alkali flies. These tiny creatures are the backbone of the lake's food web, supporting millions of migratory birds. The brine shrimp are tiny crustacean superheroes. These incredible creatures feed on microscopic algae, live for about 6 months, and during warmer months their population can explode into the trillions and let's not forget the alkali flies another essential part of mano lake's ecosystem these fascinating insects can walk underwater to lay eggs on submerged rocks their pupae packed with calories because of its protein and fat content were an important food source for the Mano people or the fly people the native american tribe after whom the lake is named the mano people skillfully harvested these pupae and even traded them with the yosemite tribes in exchange for acorns showcasing a thriving trade network in the region mano lake is a critical pit stop for migratory birds like the wilson's phalarope and eared grebe these birds feast on the shrimp and the flies doubling their body weight 
to fuel their epic journeys across continents. Without Mano Lake, these migrations would be impossible. Because of the high salinity of the lake, fish cannot survive and it also prevents other predators that would otherwise compete with or feed on the shrimp and the flies. Now let us take a close look at the stunning Tufa Towers. Mano Lake's water is rich in carbonate ions, which are the CO32 minus ions. The lake's alkalinity comes from this high concentration of carbonates. Freshwater streams flowing into the lake carry dissolved calcium ions, which are the Ca2 plus ions. When Ca2 plus ions and CO32 minus ions combine, they become solid calcium carbonate or limestone. This reaction builds up too far underwater that grows into towers over time. When the lake's water level drops, these incredible structures are revealed. Creating the otherworldly landscape Mano Lake is famous for. But there is more to Mano Lake's story than its unique wildlife and tufa towers. The Mano Lake Committee, a non-profit formed in the 1970s, was established to protect Mano Lake from the same fate as Owens Lake. Because back then, Los Angeles was diverting Mano Lake's water, jeopardizing its ecosystem. In 1983, the California Supreme Court ruled that LADWP's water rights must account for the protection of public trust resources, including Mano Lake. In 1994, the California State Water Resources Control Board issued Decision 1631, which formally reduced LADWP's water diversions and mandated a sustainable water level for Mano Lake. The board established a target elevation of 6,392 feet above sea level to restore and sustain the lake's ecosystem. Thanks to the 2024 season's historic snowmelt, Mano Lake's level rose to 6,383.1 feet as of November 1, 2024. The committee is now advocating for tighter restrictions on LADWP's water diversions to safeguard these gains and ensure the long-term protection of the lake. Mano Lake is not just a natural treasure. It is a testament to the power of conservation and community efforts. From its incredible wildlife to its ongoing restoration, Mano Lake reminds us that preserving nature is both a challenge and a triumph. Quiz time! What is the estimated age of Mano Lake? 100,000 years? 1 million years? 760,000 years? Or 10,000 years? 760,000 years. What are the stunning natural formations in the Mano Lake called? Two foot towers? Stone towers? Sand towers or clay towers? Two foot towers. What process forms Mano Lake's famous two foot towers? Volcanic eruption, soil erosion, formation of calcium carbonate or none of these? Formation of calcium carbonate. Next, we travel to Convict Lake, a breathtaking glacial lake located in California's Eastern Sierra region in Mano County, near the town of Mammoth Lakes. Convict Lake sits at an altitude of about 7,850 feet, which is 2,393 meters above sea level. It is about 35 miles driving distance from Mano Lake and approximately 115 miles from Owens Lake. This beautiful lake is renowned for its crystal clear waters, dramatic mountain backdrop, and the dark history behind its name. In 1871, 
a group of escaped convicts fled into this area after a violent crime spree, including killing a mailman. They sought refuge near the lake, but were eventually cornered and captured in a dramatic shootout. This infamous event gave the lake its name, Convict Lake. Convict Lake is a classic example of glacial formation created during the last ice age around 20,000 years ago. As glaciers advanced, they carved out a deep basin in the valley. When the glaciers retreated, meltwater filled the depression, forming the lake we see today. The surrounding cliffs are composed of ancient metamorphic rock shaped by millions of years of tectonic activity and erosion. These cliffs rise over 2,000 feet above the lake, giving it a dramatic alpine backdrop. Convict Lake is part of the Inyo National Forest and benefits from strict conservation efforts. From its Ice Age origins to its role as a natural sanctuary today, Convict Lake is a reminder of how the forces of nature and time shape the world around us. Quiz time. What event gave Convict Lake its name? A group of settlers built a fort near the lake. Escaped convicts were cornered in the area after a crime spree. A mining operation led to its discovery. None of these. Escaped convicts were cornered in the area after a crime spree. When was Convict Lake formed? Around 20,000 years ago during the Ice Age? About 100,000 years ago due to volcanic activity? During the last 10,000 years by river erosion? Or none of these? Around 20,000 years ago during the Ice Age. What is the elevation of Convict Lake? 6,000 feet, 7,850 feet, 9,000 feet, or 10,000 feet above sea level. It is 7,850 feet above sea level. Lessons from the three lakes. Lakes are more than just beautiful landscapes. They are dynamic systems, teeming with life, shaped by geology, history, chemistry, biology, and the actions of humans. From their vibrant ecosystems to their influence on the planet's climate, these bodies of water hold countless stories waiting to be uncovered. So here is something to ponder. What role do you think lakes play in the environment? Or what scientific question about lakes would you want to explore? Comment below. Please subscribe, like and share for more fun educational science content. Happy learning and I'll see you soon in the next science adventure. Thank you.